Hi, uh, in this tutorial I will show how you can um, use a LED in combination with a duck device. And we will use a duck device from NI and when you use duck devices from NI you need to use the NI uh, duck MX uh, driver software and we will uh, make a simple example using Visual Studio and C Sharp. So basically the purpose is to write data, in this case digital out using a duck device where we use Visual Studio and the C-sharp uh, programming language. We will use a basic LED as an example and we will exemplify by using a duck device from NI, previously known as National Instruments. We will use a duck device called USB 6008 in this uh, tutorial, but you can use any kind of duck devices from NI that are supporting this NI duck MX driver. There are also similar uh, duck devices as USB 6008 called the USB 6000X low cost series. So here you see um, the USB 6000X uh, duck series from NI. So basically this USB 6008 has been replaced with newer versions like USB 6000, USB 6001, 6002, 6003, etc. So you can use any of these or older uh, DAC devices from NI that are supporting this um, uh, DAC MX uh, driver. So basically, the NI DAC MX um, software is a driver software that you can use or need to use in order to communicate and control your DAC devices from NI. Uh, NI uh, Duck MX can be used with LabVIEW, Visual Studio, C Sharp, Python, MATLAB, etc. And NI uh, Duck MX can be downloaded for free on uh, just follow this link and search for NI Duck MX. And during the installation, make sure to uh, add support for the Visual Studio.NET environment uh, during the installation of this uh, software. And when you start creating your application in Visual Studio, you need to add reference to the national instruments.docmx.dll in your project. So uh, the next example is a basic LED example. Here we will use uh, the digital uh, channels, in this case digital output. So basically I, we, in this example we will uh, connect or wire a LED on the breadboard and then connect the LED to the uh, digital um, output channel on the DAC device and then here you see the basic uh, graphical user interface this is just a checkbox so when you check this uh, box the LED should turn on when we remove or uncheck it the LED should turn off so here you see the wiring we need a basic LED here we have a breadboard and here we need a resistor it could be 270 ohm it could be 330 ohm or similar we just using this resistor in order to limit uh, the current that are flowing through the circuit if the current becomes too high the LED will, uh, will uh, be destroyed so basically just use any kind of resistor in this example so then we wire here on the this is the, uh, uh, sorry the digital channels here uh, we have here on the right side of the duct device so this is digital channel number zero and then we can specify a uh, different um, ports so this is um, so basically we have P is for port so then we have a digital port zero and then we have dig uh, channel zero one two three etc and then here we have digital port number one channel 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So we can control all these digital channels to be either input or output and we can also turn on either one at a time or turn off one at a time or we can control as multiple channels in one operation. So here we only need to use one digital uh, channel and it has to be a digital output channel that's something we specify in our application if it should be a digital input channel or a digital output channel. 
And here you see the physical uh, wiring, here we have the breadboard, the LED, the resistor, and the duct device. And here we have the digital channels. This one is ground, so um, this one is connected to ground, uh, the black wire, while the red one is connected to the first uh, port on this first channel here, namely uh, port zero, uh, channel uh, zero, which is the first connector here. And here you see the um, basic code example, uh, the main part of the code. I have just created a separate method called LED light, and the input to this method is a boolean, either true or false, according to my graphical user interface. So when then the checkbox is selected, this value will be true, when it's unselected, it will be false. So it, when it's checked, meaning true, then this LED should turn on. While it's unselected, it should be false, and this uh, LED should turn off. And here is very similar, similar as previous examples, but here we need to create a digital output task. And then when we have created the digital output task, we need to create a digital output channel and then specify device name, which is set in the max software, port, either port zero or port one, and then line. Um, in this case, we just use the first uh, line, line zero or channel zero in this case. So this is uh, the specification of which connector we are going to use on the duct device. Here is the name of the, the channel. Sorry. Um, so uh, this name is not so important here, but for next one, channel line uh, grouping. Here we need to select in this case one channel for each line because we have a line zero, one, two, etc. And then we just specify for that each of those lines should be a separate channel. And then we need to create a digital single channel uh, writer, uh, like this. And then when we have created the writer object, we can use the method, which is part of this object, write single sample single line. And then um, we have this LED, which is the input to this function. And this one should be either true or false. If it's true, the LED should uh, turn on. If we have wired the LED uh, correctly on the breadboard, if this variable LED is false, the LED should turn off. So let's go to Visual Studio and see this application in action. So here we are in Visual Studio. Here we have the basic uh, graphical user interface with just a uh, um, it's just a checkbox which you find here, the checkbox. So this is either true or false. And then I just double click on this one and then we go to the event handler for this checkbox. And inside here, I just specify a variable called LED. In the beginning, I just set it to false. And when this checkbox is checked, I set this variable to true. When it's unchecked, I set this LED variable to false. And then I just call this method called LED light, which I have created here. And here is all the code for communicating with the duct device and turn this digital channel either on or off. So we start with creating a digital uh, output task. And then we need to create a digital output channel. And then we specify this information and this channel line grouping, and then we need to create this uh, digital single channel uh, writer. And then in the writer object, we just use this write single sample single line method, which we set either to be true or false using this Boolean uh, variable. So let's just run the application. So now this simple no uh, on my breadboard, I have this LED, I know it's turned off when I click here, my LED will be turned on, off, on, off, etc. So basically this is uh, a simple 
uh, example how you can use the digital output channel on, on the DAC device. So here you see the digital output example here on, on the DAC device. I used this first digital pin, which is the red one, and here the black one is connected to the ground. And here you see the wiring for the LED. This is the LED and this is the resistor. And here you see the uh, application so now the, this one is unselected and then you see the led is off when i click on this one then you see the led has been turned off now i unselect it and then you see the led is turned off so basically this is the a simple uh, digital output example using this uh, basic led so that's all for now, so good luck uh, using your Reduct device, Visual Studio and the C-Sharp programming language. Thank you and goodbye.